Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing how to install the Pico VR Android mobile application into Windows 11. Now this may not work for everyone, apparently the US has problems using Windows Android support so um, your luck may vary, but from this point onwards everything is going to be based on what I'm doing in the UK and if it doesn't work for you I'm sorry I don't know how to fix that. So first of all we're going to need an APK to get the Pico VR um, APK itself. Ripping this from your phone doesn't tend to work, so I would suggest getting the auroraoss.com. Go to that website, go down to the GitLab releases, and just download the latest APK. So for me, it's 4.25, and so that's Aurora Store 4.25 APK. Just click this, that downloads into the sort of downloads folder wherever you save um, your, your web browser downloads. So once that is done, we've now got at least one APK to start with. You need the Microsoft Store, so just tap your Windows key, type Microsoft Store. That should come pre-installed on Windows 11. And we're going to search for WSA Tools. And we're just going to click Install. And then Open. And the very first time we do this, it's going to tell us Windows Subsystem for Android is missing, unless you have done this previously. So we're going to Install from Microsoft Store. Click install. And this is basically going to put the Amazon App Store onto Windows. Um, unfortunately, the Pico VR app isn't on the Amazon App Store, but it is required for this Android setup to work. So we're just going to click download. Click yes to the process. Okay, now that's done. We can open Amazon App Store. This will take a while the first time, even on my 12700K computer, it really does take a while to install. It may even ask you to restart after this process is complete. But essentially, once this window goes away, it will return you back to an Amazon App Store window um, asking you to log into Amazon. So I'm going to skip the video forward until we get to that part. Now that's done, it's opened the new Amazon App Store window. You can sign in here and use this Amazon App Store if you wish. This is obviously going to have a limited selection of Android applications, but I'm actually just going to close this window. I'm going to go back into my WSA tools here. I don't actually need this right now. What I'm actually going to need to do is close this and go into Windows and search for the Windows subsystem for Android. It should show down the bottom here if it's um, set up similar to what I have on mine. If not, just tap your Windows key and search for Windows subsystem and it should come up with this one. So we're going to click into here. We're going to go to Advanced Settings and Enable Developer Mode. Now, this does give you an address here. Um, if this sort of goes wrong on a tutorial for me at the moment, then I'll cover how to actually get this fixed. Okay, so we're going to go to WSA Tools again. And we're going to install APK. Now, it's going to notice uh, ABD is missing. So it does install it for you. You can just click Install here. And select a folder where you want that install to go. So I'm just going to put in my documents and just call that ADB. Just go into that folder and click Install ADB here. And now this is asking for the APK. So we just go to our downloads. I'll go to my Aurora store that I downloaded. And I'm going to click install. Now what should happen is it should come up with this allow ADB debugging. So you need to click always allow from this computer and allow. Obviously it's going to give me an error here at the moment. So if that didn't pop up for you and it's coming up with just a fail, what I'm going to show you now is how to correct that. So you need to go into documents folder where you um, place your ADB files. So I'm going to just refresh here and this ADB here. In this folder, right click, go to open terminal. And we're just going to type ADB connect space. So ADB space connect space. And we need to get the address from the developer mode. So type in that address here exactly as it's shown and then whack enter and then it will come up with that same pop-up window. So then you can click um, allow, always allow and continue on. So we don't actually need this one open here. I can close all of this. I can go back into the WSA tools, install APK, go to my raw store, click install. And this is now successfully installing that application. So I can now open the Aurora store. I can just go through this quickly. I use a session installer. 
This is the theme. It doesn't really matter what you set. And we need to grant the permissions to a raw store. And then click finish. Now I log in with an anonymous account, but you can use your Google here. Um, you honestly don't really need to, you just want an anonymous account. Click this and it opens what looks like a Google Play store. So the APKs are pulled from Google Play. This is the safest place to get your Android APKs. So once we've got this open, we can just search the store for Pico VR. And we see at the top here, make sure it is from Pico and just click install. Okay, now that's done. I don't necessarily need to open it here. I can close the Aurora store. And within Windows now, you'll see I have a new Pico VR application. Now, if you've not set up your Android phone application first, I highly suggest doing that to make an account, get get familiar with how the app works, because what you're going to see now is when I open it in Windows, the actual formatting is a bit messed up because it defaults to the store. So if I disagree, allow permissions, this is going to take a while. It's obviously going to cache the, uh, the new storefront. And I think it actually asks you what headset you've got straight away. So I'm going to just expand this window a little bit. And rather wait for the store to work, I'm just going to go to the me section and log in. Okay, so now we're logged in. I'm going to go back to the store and see if the store is going to refresh. If not, I'm just going to try change the window size. So as you can see, the formatting is a bit messed up. But you now have access to the Pico VR application within Windows. There might be a pop up um, asking you which is your default headset because I have a few he different headsets here. But in the store, it may ask you what the, the default store is going to be. I mean, you can see that no matter which way we resize the window, it's going to come up a bit broken. Um, but you do have access to, to everything. So as long as you've set up your phone application and are familiar with how this works, you can get by with using the store in Windows. And as long as you've linked your account, obviously uh, payment setup and stuff on the mobile, then it's exactly the same on the Windows side here. Um, but mainly I use this for connecting to the devices, so I've not got anything turned on here. But essentially, the media transfer tool um, between Pico mobile app and the headsets is really, really useful. Um, it's, it's over Wi-Fi, so as long as your headset's on Wi-Fi and your phone's on Wi-Fi, when you transfer files, um, the recordings and screenshots that you've taken from the headset, it's incredibly quick to get them onto your phone. So essentially what I've done here is create a situation that I can get the the screen recordings and screenshots from the headset that's still on my head onto windows without plugging anything in so it's incredibly quick and intuitive to use now the headset's turned on and connected you can see it's online and the battery status i can go into my media and if nothing shows up you drag down from the top much like you would to refresh you've got screenshots here what's what's happening for me anyway the very first time i um, set this up if i click download and then check the downloads folder. It doesn't actually show anything here. So it will go to your normal download folder in Windows. Um, but what you may need to do first of all, um, it's a bit bizarre on the pictures anyway, is click share. And again, you can edit from there, but I tend to just use the Windows default sort of preferences, which is just gonna open it as a normal picture within Windows and you can just save as. Um, for videos, it's a little bit easier. So if I scroll down and try find the video that I've got here, and you can see the obviously this is why I suggest getting yourself familiar with how the app works in your mobile phone, because these are sort of giant icons here. Um, I can click into the video and click download, but if it says video saved and it's got the progress bar there, um, but if I go back and check here now, for whatever reason, the picture's shown up, but the video hasn't. Um, and that's much the same way. If I just click share and then check again, that may even be in download folder. It's obviously not gone there just yet. So I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm going to go share Windows default preferences. Okay. It plays in VLC. I'm going to close that, check my download folder again, and it's shown up. So again, there's a bit of a workaround, but um, it is possible to very quickly get your videos and photos off the headset directly to your PC um, without plugging a cable in. And that's not to mention the other features you've got here. So 
I wouldn't recommend using screencast or mixed reality capture. They're not going to really work with this setup because again, this, this really isn't supposed to be working on Windows, but it does. Um, you can still share links into the headset. So again, as you're on your PC, you can copy some websites, just copy an address, paste that into here and click share. And when you put your headset on, you're looking directly at that website that you, that you linked in. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, from here, you've just got the basic settings and the Windows Store as well. Um, uh, Windows Store, the Pico Store, sorry. Because I've not clicked this, first of all, um, the store tries to give you a preference of what headset you, you display. So it's obviously on Pico 4 at the minute, but it does ask you. But you can see the format in here is completely busted. So I'm going to try select the Pico 4 up here and click this blue button, which is going to then default me to the Pico 4 store. Um, you only need to get that window out of the way once. Once you've done that, you can just change it from here anyway. Um, most of the applications between Pico 4 and Neo 3Link are the same, so it really makes no odds now. But yeah, you can still get around this and use the store. Um, there is going to be obviously a sale on at the minute. I can show you that this all kind of conflict. That's pretty cheap at the moment, £1.49. As I've already linked up my payment plan on a mobile phone, I can go here. I can see if I've got any coupons. I've not got any coupons. My PayPal's linked. And I'm going to click pay. And then purchase successful. So I've now used Windows to buy a Pico app for my Pico 4. So again, there's a few different things you can do with this. Um, if you really don't have access to the store, this is probably one way you can access it and get some titles. It's not not the best situation to, to use, but it is, um, it is usable and it is functional. But I would highly suggest just getting yourself familiar with the mobile app first. And again, you've got all different access to payment methods purchases this is basically displaying as it would on your phone or tablet um, but in windows so again if you if you like typing on a keyboard even if you want to use the real-time support from pico you can click the little um, support bar at the top here and type with your keyboard on on windows pc saying hi uh, yeah going for all the all the normal pico vr application sort of um, menus and features that you normally have so I hope that helps. I know it's a bit convoluted and uh, a bit awkward at times, but that is one way that you can do this. And for me, it's incredibly handy to have my headset on. Um, I just very quickly get the files I need onto the PC without having to take this off to stir and play and uh, yeah, connecting all USB cables and all the rest of it. So very, very quick and dirty tip and I uh, hope it helps at least someone. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.